Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play a finger style arrangement of Jocelyn Flores by XXX Tentacion. So let's get into it. So we're in standard tuning and we have the capo on the first fret of the guitar. There's really only two different sections in this entire song. We have the verse and then we have the chorus. The verse keeps looping throughout the first part of the song from the start throughout the rap part. And after that, we have the chorus after which the song goes back into the verse and then ends. So let's start with the verse. It sounds like this. So the very first bit of the verse sounds like this. So you start with this chord, where you're playing the 4th fret of the low E string and you have the open D string, G string and the B string. So you have this. So with the right hand you plug the low E string, the D string, G string and the B string. You play that with a roll like this. And after that you have this. So right after the roll, you play this note on the 3rd fret of the B string with the index finger and on the right hand you plug the B string, so you have this. And after that you bring in this note on the 3rd fret of the B string and you play that note with the slap, so you have this. So you play this note with the tip of the nail of your index finger and play that with a slap like this. So you kind of roughly aim for the B string, so you have this. And after that you move to this chord where you're playing the 8th fret of the low E string, the 8th fret of the G string, 8th fret of the B string and the 6th fret of the high E string. So it sounds like this. So there you play the note on the high E string first, so you have this. And then you play the note on the low E string. And then you plug these two, the notes on the G and B string together like that. So the whole thing sounds like this. And after that you slap. So far you have this. And after that you have this part. So now you change from this chord to this chord where you have the open A string, you have the 8th fret of the D string, the 7th fret of the G string and the 6th fret of the high E string. The B string there in between is muted. So you have this. So there you play this note on the high E string first and then you have this. So there you're playing the A string first on its own. And then you plug these two, the D string and the G string together. And then slap. And you plug the A, D and G string together now. In the end. So the whole thing sounds like this. And after that you have this part. So there first of all you slap. And then you move down and play this note on the 3rd fret of the G string. So you have this. Where you're playing the open A string, the open B string and then the G string. Like that. So the last bit sounds like this. So from the very start till this part we have this. And after that we have this part. So there we do something similar, we have this. So there you play the note on the 4th fret of the low E string and the open B string together first. And then you add this note on the 3rd fret of the B string. 
and then you play this note again with the slap like that and after that you slide to the 10th fret of the high E string with your ring finger so it sounds like this slide to the 10th fret and then you have this so there you play the 8th fret of the low E string and you play the 11th fret of the B string so you play the 8th fret with the index finger and the 11th fret with your little finger and you play it right after the slide so it sounds like this you play the low E string first and then the B string and then slap so the whole thing till there sounds like this and after that you have this so there you move back to this chord where you're playing the 7th fret of the low E string the 7th fret of the G and B strings and the 6th fret of the high E string so you have this there you plug the G and B string together and then you play the low E string and then you play the high E string and then slap and after that you move down to play this so there you're playing the third fret of the B string and then you pull off to the open B string and then you play this note the third fret again with the open A string so you have this so there you plug the A string and the B string together like that so the whole thing from the start sounds like this and after that you have this little fill so there you play the open high E string with the slap so you play that with the tip of the nail of your index finger so you play it like this and then you hammer on onto the second fret of the high E string with your index finger so it sounds like this and after the hammer on you lift this finger up to play the open high E string again so it sounds like this and after that you have this where you pull off from the third fret of the B string to the second fret like that so if I play the whole thing really slow, it sounds like this. And after that you continue with the riff. And you play one round of the verse again. So if I play the whole thing from that little fill, it sounds like this. So that's the entire verse, I'll play it from the start, it sounds like this. And after that you have the chorus which sounds like this. So there you start by playing the note on the 3rd fret of the high E string like this. So you play the note with a slap and then you pull off to play the open high E string like that and after that you have this where you're pulling off from the third fret to the second fret of the B string like that so the whole thing sounds like this and after that you have this part so there you're playing the fourth fret of the low E string and the open B string together first and then you play the bass note again and after that you have this part so there you start off the same way 
And after that, instead of pulling off from the third fret to the second fret of the B string, you play it with a slide. So you slide down with your ring finger from the third fret to the second fret. And then you have this. So right after you slide down, you play the third fret of the A string and the third fret of the B string together. You plug them together. And then you have this. So there you bring in this note on the third fret of the G string and play it twice. You're playing the G string twice, like that. And then with the slap, you play this. You have a hammer on and pull off from the third fret of the B string to the fourth fret. So you have this. You play that with the slap. So the whole thing sounds like this. So from the start you have this. And after that you have this part. So there you have this chord, which is like an A major chord shape. So you're playing the third fret of the D string, G string and the B string. You're barring them with your index finger like this. And you have the open A string. So you have this. So you have to play it like this. You play the bass note and then you plug the rest of the three strings, the D string, G string and the B string. So you have this. And then slap. And after that you have this chord. Where the bass note changes from the open A string to this note on the second fret of the low E string. You play that with your thumb. So it sounds like this. So now you have, now you mute the A string. So it sounds like this. So this chord, you just plug the whole thing once. You're plucking the low E string, D string, G string and the B string together. And then you play the bass note on the low E string again. Like that. So the whole thing sounds like this. So from the start we have this. And after that you have this melody on top where you're playing the 3rd fret of the high E string then the 6th fret play the 3rd fret 2 times and then the 6th uh, fret once and then you play this note 2 times which is the 4th fret of the B string so the whole thing sounds like this so you kind of play this note right after playing this chord so you have this So I'm kind of using the bar over there to play this note on the 3rd fret of the high E string. So you first slap on that note, you slap and play the high E string and then you plug the high E string again. Like that. So from the chord, from the last two chords it sounds like this. And then you play the rest of it. And after that you have this. So there you play the note on the 4th fret of the B string and then you play that with the 4th fret of the low E string like that. So first you're plucking the B string only and then you plug the low E string and B string together like that. So from the very last bit it sounds like this. So right after this part, you have this. So right after you played this, you slap and then you have this. So there I only need to play these two strings, the low E string and the high E string. I don't need to bar anything on the strings in between. So I'm not playing any notes over there in between. So you, you only need to be able to hold down the note on the 3rd fret there of the high E string and the 4th fret there of the low E string. So you kind of arch your finger like that to do the crossbar. So you have this. And then you hammer on onto the 4th fret of the high E string. Like that. And after that you have this part. 
So there you change from the crossbar to bar across the third fret of your guitar. So you need to play this. So there I'm barring from the A string all the way to the high E string on the third fret. So you play the A string and the high E string together. And then you play this note on the fourth fret of the B string. And then you play this chord, you lift this up and play this chord with a slap and do a hammer on and pull off on the fourth fret. So you have this. So you play that with a slap. It sounds like that. So again that last bit there sounds like this. So I'll play it again from that previous part really slow, it sounds like this. And after that you have this part. So there again you have the A major chord shape, you have the open A string and you have the 3rd fret of the D, G and B string barred with the index finger, so you have this. You plug the bass note on the A string and then you play the D, G and B together. And then slap. And after that you change to this chord. So now again only the bass note changes, so instead of the A string you have the 3rd fret of the low E string now, so you have this. So you plug the whole chord first, you plug the low E string, the D string, G string and the B string together. And then you play the bass note again. And then you play the rest of the chord with a slap. And then you play the bass note again in the end. that. So the whole thing sounds like this. So that's the entire chorus. I'll play it from the start slowly. It sounds like this. And after that you go back to the verse which is exactly the same. And so on. So in the song we have the verse which loops from the start of the song throughout the rap section and then goes into the chorus. After that we have the verse again and after that the song ends. So that's the whole song. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this helped. If you'd like to see more videos like this one then subscribe to my channel. Also if you have any questions or requests for song tutorials then do let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, take care, I'll see you in the next video.